from Backscatter here, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use custom presets on the GoPro Hero 9 to easily switch between shooting modes while underwater. This info is just part of our complete guide to the best underwater settings for the GoPro Hero 9, so be sure to check out the entire article after watching this video for the full breakdown of the settings and what you need to know in order to make the most of this camera underwater. There are certain settings within the Hero 9 that must be changed when switching between shooting macro and wide angle underwater. The issue is that when the camera is sealed in the dive housing, there's no access to the touch screen, which is what we need in order to change these settings. The workaround to this is to use a custom preset that we can then jump between just by using the buttons on the camera instead of the touch screen. We do this by activating what we like to call the secret menu on the front screen of the camera. Activate the secret menu by holding down the power and mode button and pressing the record button. A wrench icon appears on the back screen of the camera while the presets appear on the front. You'll see the default presets included in the camera. We're gonna create our own presets for wide angle video, macro video, burst photo, and slow motion video that we can just cycle between while the camera is sealed. Setting a custom preset is actually really easy. For this example, we're gonna start in video mode. While at the main shooting screen, tap the default standard preset in the bottom center of the screen. This brings up the additional default presets built into the camera. Scroll down until you see the plus icon and tap it to add a new custom preset. The first thing to select is the mode, which for this preset will be video. Only video options are available while the camera is in video mode, whereas photo options become available when it's switched to photo mode. The next option is resolution and frame rate. These are the two most important video settings because they determine how much information the camera is going to capture while recording. There are multiple resolution settings available on the GoPro Hero 9. The two most frequently used are 4K and 1080 HD. 4K has about four times the resolution of 1080 HD, but the files are also much larger and more highly compressed making them more difficult to work with unless you're editing on a newer computer. The GoPro will even show you a little warning about this when you select the 4K setting. 1080 HD is the more ideal choice for people with older computers that just can't handle smooth playback or editing of those 4K files. We recommend always shooting at the highest resolution possible based on what your editing computer can handle. We like to keep the frame rate set to 60 frames per second for general video purposes. 60 FPS creates footage that looks super smooth and lifelike when played back at full speed, or it can be slowed down and played back at half speed at 30 frames per second for an even more stabilized and lengthened effect. The lens setting, also known as the field of view, is what determines how wide or narrow of a view the GoPro captures. This is the setting that's going to determine whether you're going to shoot wide angle or macro, since wide angle requires a wide view while macro requires a narrow one. Set the lens to wide for wide angle or narrow for macro. If the lens setting is kept at wide when shooting macro, then the corners of the Macromate mini accessory lens that you're going to need will be visible in the shot and your subject's going to be too small in the center of the frame. Switching to the narrow setting eliminates the lens being visible in the shot and presents a larger subject. Hypersmooth is what GoPro calls their in-camera digital image stabilization. We recommend setting this to the boost setting for all video modes. This will crop in on the width of the shot, reducing the field of view, but the benefit of the gimbal-like stabilization that it adds is enough to offset that potential drawback. Actually, a reduced field of view is really only a drawback for shooting wide angle. It's actually a benefit for macro because it's gonna crop in even tighter, producing a larger subject in the frame. 
Scroll down to the next page, which is where the ProTune settings are found. The ProTune settings are the more advanced exposure image and sound settings. Fortunately for us, these are going to be the same for all video modes, but we still must assign them individually for each custom preset. We're going to change the bitrate to high. We're just going to keep the shutter set to auto. We're going to take the EV comp down by just a half stop to minus 0.5. Keep the white balance set to auto. Your ISO minimum stays at 100. The ISO maximum stays at 1600. Sharpness is going to come down to medium, which might seem a little counterintuitive, but we found that keeping it at the high setting makes things look a little too crunchy underwater, especially if there's lots of particulate matter or stuff floating around in the water. Keep the color set to GoPro, keep the raw audio off, and change the wind setting to off. From there, we can scroll down to the final page, the shortcuts. These are the customizable icons that are present on the main shooting screen that allow for quick access to features when you're able to use the touch screen. Since we can't do that underwater, just turn all the shortcuts off to have a less cluttered main shooting screen. The final step is to save the custom preset and give it a name. The default options that GoPro includes don't really work too well for our underwater applications, so just choose custom. One detail to be aware of about using custom presets is that, at least at this time, there's no way to further customize the name of your preset other than the default options that the camera provides. This is going to require you as the user to remember what preset is for what shooting mode. So maybe it's custom for wide angle video, custom one for macro, custom two for slow motion, so on and so forth. This really isn't that much of an issue because the presets display the basic resolution, frame rate, and lens setting, so you can always tell which preset is which, even if you forget. The GoPro is now set to your custom preset, and you can cycle through as many presets as you create, either by tapping the touch screen when it's out of the housing, or by using the secret menu when it's sealed in the housing. We hope that this quick instructional video makes it easy for you to dial in your custom presets. Remember to check out the complete guide for all of the best underwater settings for the GoPro Hero 9, and don't hesitate to reach out to us if you have any questions at all. I'm Robin from Backscatter signing off, and thanks for watching.